let's make a glam furry pumpkin today. Keep watching. <music> going to start off with some ribbon. If you look in the description box, I'll give you some measurements there. It's satin on one side and it is fur on the other side. I got it at Goodwill, but it was something that had clearanced out at another store. I'm just going to measure by wrapping around the pumpkin and then I'm going to cut these into strips. I actually needed three of these strips and each strip was cut into three pieces. And this ribbon has a lot of fallout. Lots of little hairy thingamabobbers all over the place. You can see over there on the side, pieces falling off. If you just kind of give it a little brush with your fingers after you finish cutting it, it'll come off. I'm gonna start with the bottom of the pumpkin, laying my first piece with the satin side down. And you have to be careful with this, it gets very hot. So this would be a good time to have the little pink finger protectors from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put a dot on the top as well to keep it from sliding back and forth. And then another dot on the bottom and I'll trim the excess off. Now the pumpkin did come from the Dollar Tree several years ago and it lost its stem so we're repurposing it now. And I'm just going to go right across like an X I mean, I guess you could do this in any pattern you want, but I'm a little OCD when it comes to this kind of stuff. So I want to try to get it evenly spaced and put together in a way that will make me feel better about myself. So I'm going to keep going with this process. And if you notice up there in the left corner, I am sporting my plaid pajama bottoms because, you know, kids are home. It's summertime. Who has time to get dressed? I have to prioritize, and since crafting is something I really want to do, I've got to try to make time for it wherever I can find time for it. A lot of times when I'm crafting, my little girl's in the room with me, and she's crafting too. She has her own table and her own supplies. And she loves it. Very artistic little girl. All right, so this... Hopefully it's not boring you. I just want to show you how I've decided to put a little dot also in the middle to secure it to keep it from slipping around on the on that weird beading on the pumpkin. So I've just taken some greenery here that I already had off of something else from Dollar Tree and I cut down a leaf that I had so that it would fit and I'm layering it together. I'm going to put that on the top. And again, it's hot, so be very careful. Definitely don't want kids doing this. And I have a bead here. It's an acrylic crystal. I'm so sorry about my camera technique. I'm still learning. Took a pipe cleaner, wrapped it around a pencil, made a little tendril, and then just hot glue that on. I've decided that I want to put one of those big leaves on the bottom that's the same color or complementary to the pumpkin just to make a pretty base for it. And so that's what I did there. Nothing to it. You can just take your fingers, comb out that the uh, fur in the direction that you want it in, and it's great. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back for more. I have lots more fall activities and projects going right.